everybody, what's going on? I'm Amtrakguy365 as usual, and today is Christmas, and that means Santa and Jesus and whatever else you celebrate this time of year. And today I'm going to discuss some of the things and show off some of the things I got for Christmas, as well as some future layout plans. So we're going to get started down here with three Walther's models I got. We're going to start with this Chessie system, also logo or lettered for Western Maryland. This, uh, like I said, it's a Walther's model and it's a very nice model in my opinion. I really like the colors and how, like, it just everything seems so crisp about this model. The details are very nice. The only thing that I really have to say that just kind of looks weird to me is just to this whole little setup right here with the handbrake and stuff. The gray just looks kind of bland to me and kind of stands out from the rest of the model. But overall, this is a very nice model, I think. I kind of like the slanted little thing right here with this window right here. It just kind of looks neat. Next up, we got this Procore tank car. Another very nice model, I think. The fine detailing and all the pipes are very nice. The ladders, decals, and all the lettering, as well as all this information right here is fairly legible. Next up, we got this Port Huron and Detroit Railroad boxcar. And one thing I'd like to point out is they spelt, Walther's spelt St. Clair wrong. There should not be an E in it. None of the boxcars have an E on them, so it really shouldn't be there, but that can probably easily be fixed with some blue paint. But other than that, it's a fairly nice model. The details are pretty nice, crisp and clear, all that, all that jazz. And now we get to one of the more special things, and it's become one of my favorite locomotives that I own so far. This is a Atherin CNO chassis system GP40-2. And I really like this model. The colors are very nice on it. I just like the way it looks. The details are very nice. Like the uh, hand roll. Oh, oh my god. The handrails are really nice. The lights look really good. The horn. All the details and colors just look very nice to me. And it's become one of my favorite models that I own. Just because of how nice it looks. That's. And then that's it for the uh, model trains. Some other things I got were some books. Here we have American Passenger Trains and Locomotives Illustrated. There's the author. And it just discusses passenger trains and the locomotives that were used on them and things like that. North American Railroad Bridges. And eh, you can probably figure out what that's about. And then we also got the Illustrated Directory of North American Locomotives. And it just discusses different railroads and the locomotives they built. And it's a fairly nice looking book, as well as all the pictures within it. Now on to some future layout plans and things of that. Now, this cardboard right here, it's just marking where I plan to have the road. And as you can also tell, I got rid of the bank, not entirely, it's just put off to the side. Because it just seems like it's going to be way too big for a grain elevator to go right here. I th and I moved the United Trucking Building just a little bit to that area and I'm probably going to fence it off just to mark building properties and things like that. I also probably got to get some smooth it whenever I go to the hobby shop sometime soon for my birthday, which is on January 1st. And I'm probably just going to use the smooth it because this, this paint right here, I'm just uh, directly on the foam just kind of looks. Blech. And it's not very really realistic to be honest. So I'm probably going to get some of that, redo all this. It might be a little hard in some areas, but I can probably make it work. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this layout update. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, or whatever else you celebrate. I hope you got what you wanted from good old uh, Kris Kringle. But, and what I will say is this holiday season has been kind of busy and stressful for me, so getting videos out has been kind of tough lately. But I plan to try and get some more videos out in the coming days and weeks and so on. And now I'd like to give some shout outs to the following people. Vermont to Railfan, Railfanning 101, Railfanning 101 Vermont, Century New England RR Productions, Manitoba Modeler 24, 
Michigan Rail Productions, The Davison Rail Fan, Main Central 114, Caden Zank, as well as Lit Lantern Productions. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and whatever else you celebrate. And I'll see you guys in another video.